and we may see a you track record here. Possible yep. start record. But then the question will be, can he hold it through the middle of the track? He often has some trouble in the middle of this track and gives away that start advantage. 4.49, he betters it by 100. Another year, another track, another start record for the Russian Rocket. Well, it's his record, but it was six or seven years old. So let's see that if he can uh, maintain that advantage or if he gives it away here. It was two tenths. A little issue here. Better than a half second. A little late going into turn six. He's going to have to drive a little more than he'd like to do there. A little skid there. He's lost back a tenth of a second. We've seen a lot of time bleed away at the bottom. Perhaps not this much. Not this much. Yeah. Three tenths. He's lost two tenths now, but it will be enough to hold on to his spot. But it could be in the single digits. Could be very close. 78.5 miles an hour. Speed's not bad. He will hold on, but but he lost four tenths to the American Antoine Down in the second the half of that course. Yep. And really, the key point there is whatever pressure he wanted to put on Duker, so the Latvian to follow may have escaped him. Yeah, the, there's no pressure on Dukers now. Antoine had a better run than uh, Trichikov did that second run. It was just he had enough of a lead from the first heat to barely let him hold that position. <laughs> Dead heat to the hundredth of a second down here in the bottom portion. It Will up. it be an unlikely win for the Russian? It is. Wow. As Dukers inexplicably makes a mistake after that build up by me. Alexander Trechikov taking the gold medal in this second World Cup of the season with a bit of a surprise, a mini surprise with his victory over Martins Dukers, the four-time defending World Cup overall champion.